What's up everyone? So we are doing a tutorial on Coinbase Pro. I know there's a lot of people that are using Coinbase and don't realize that you're paying six times higher fees. You're paying 1.5% instead of 0.25%. So um, go ahead and introduce yourself to the audience. Uh, hey, I'm Michelle. Um, I just started uh, getting more into cryptocurrency, more towards the beginning of this year. Um, but I've been using the regular Coinbase site um, and haven't really looked too much into other options. Okay. How much of crypto have you bought on Coinbase? Um, so I initially started out with $1,000 just because uh, I wasn't too sure what to, what I was really doing. Um, oh, and wait, I good just for you put it all... to have $1,000 yeah. to invest. <laughs> yeah. Most girls would be buying yeah. a Louis Vuitton bag. <laughs> you know, I was thinking about doing that, but... <laughs> no, don't buy Louis Vuitton. It's no. bad for you. <laughs> No, I was, um, I actually have like the oldest purse. I think I've had it for like five years. Okay. So yeah, keep so, that Louis Vuitton. Um, Don't buy anymore. Buy more, I know, right? <laughs> buy more crypto, buy more so, real estate. That's the goal of this channel. So we're trying to educate yeah, people yeah. how to make investments, but not just in crypto because crypto is a really good um, asset class to own, but you do want to invest mm -hmm. also in stocks, bonds, and real estate. And real estate is really expensive, so there's ways through the stock market or ETFs that you can actually still be invested in real estate without owning property. But eventually, it's a good idea, you know, to buy an entire property if you can, or make a partnership mm -hmm. or whatever. Um, yeah, but, yeah. Okay, cool. So that's definitely uh, the goal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, go, go. So you basically, what got you to invest a thousand dollars, and how long ago was it? Yeah, so um, I so I have one of my brothers. He has been like really. I think probably last year, the beginning of last year, he was like super into um, crypto, and he kept saying like, "Hey, like I think he was like putting all his money into it, and he was really excited about it. Like he's all into like the stock market." How and, old is your brother? Um, he's twenty four. Good for him. Dude, you, mm -hmm. like your family's smart. You guys are investing yeah. <laughs> at a young age. Yeah, he was telling us, he was like, we're gonna, um, he's like, this is like the way of the future. Um, this is how we're gonna, like, this is how we're gonna make our money. Like, he was like, no one, you have to jump on this. Um, so, and I had, I have a good amount of disposable income just because I don't have that many expenses. Um, so I started, you know, I was still kind of new about it. Um, and I'm paying student loans and everything, paying back student loans. So I wasn't putting too much money into crypto, but, um, so like in January, um, I think my first purchase was snap stock, which was Good a big, big Good failure. <laughs> no, it's okay. Just hold on to that because if they acquire, yeah. someone's going to acquire snap, it's not doing that great, but eventually yeah. it's, you know, it's cannibal. What's it called? The big fish mm -hmm. always eats the little fish. You know, if it's not Facebook, yeah. some other big company will come and buy them out. So, you know, Snap's not mm -hmm. going away. Yeah. They have a market share. And what I always tell people is, like, talk to people younger than you. And what's funny is, mm -hmm. so, uh, I still volunteer at my high school in Corona del Mar, and I still talk to high schoolers. They don't use Instagram. Oh, cool. Well, some of them use Instagram, but Snap is still the number one app. It's for, like this for mm -hmm. kids under 18. So I still don't think Snap will go away because a lot of them are not going to use Facebook. Some will go on Instagram, but a lot of them just use Snap only. And if that continues, like I said, yeah. if I started talking to high schoolers and they're like, oh no, we only mm -hmm. use Instagram, then I'd sell my Snapchat stock. But until yeah. then, it's still, think it's, it's like, really holding on to yeah, it. Yeah. And like these guys, these people aren't monetized, right? If you're under 18, you can't really monetize on them, but like they're going to grow mm -hmm. up and then it's going to become more monet, you know, be able to make money. But yeah, I'm going to shut yeah. this video down because we're going a little long. We're going to go into a second video. Uh, and like I said, this okay. the entire series will eventually go into the Coinbase tutorial. So we'll talk to you guys soon. Okay.